So the last podcast, we were talking about where we're going to go, what we're going to do. We were talking about Amsterdam, talking about travelling around Europe, yeah, and doing all that. And we've done none of that. And then we had a mad spout again of coronavirus. Didn't we? Yeah, man, coronas. Put an end to it, didn't it? Mm. Put an end to it all. We had to cancel Amsterdam. We were meant to go second week of January. Yeah. I think it would have been tough, to be fair. Mm. Um, but... I mean, it's, it's it was cancelled, but it's still on the cards. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still like, there. It's there, ready to be picked back up when yeah. we have the opportunity. Yeah, so we've just been caning the rivers, haven't we? Smashing the rivers. I think now more than ever, we feel like that void of when the river season's closed, and it's like... Yeah. Oh, we're the season's closed now, what do we do? Yeah, we haven't really felt that before. No. Because we've only dabbled on the rivers, whereas this dabbled. winter, it was our main venue, wasn't it? Was, yeah. it? Yeah, we've really hit the rivers hard, whether it be fishing for the pike, yeah. or the attempts for the barbel, which we've learnt, has taught us so much. We've had, a fair, we've had more blanks than we have sessions where we've caught barbel. I mean, we've only caught one barbel. Yeah. In about seven <laughs> sessions. We've tried though. And I feel like it was really good that we've tried in the winter when the barbel fishing is at its hardest. Oh, okay. So yeah. hopefully June, July, August we'll catch loads. You know, I've had people messaging me and, you know, message us if you know any uh, marble spots you know um <laughs> i've had loads of people messaging me saying you know like on the seven they've had like 30 barbel in a day and you know like just when they're on maybe not big ones like three four five pounders but you know if we can get a day it's like epic, that isn't it? then we'll make seven yeah. videos out of the one session like we keep banging on about with pike fishing it's location and it? it's getting them right yeah. Spots. And Barbel, we're just so inexperienced at fishing for them. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really know what we're doing at all. No. But then, you know, is it that complicated? No. Is it putting a lead or a feeder and with a bit of bait on the end of it and, you know, time in the water? It's as complicated as putting a piece of meat on a hook yeah. and chucking it out, but then it gets as complicated as you want it to be yeah, yeah, and yeah. as you let it be. I wouldn't, I'd really like to do some, uh, some like maybe like no weight and just meat rolling down, you know, and keep roving almost. Not trotting, but for me, yeah. on meat on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep different swims, keep going or, or take like a lure fishing approach. Yeah. Um, mobile or... yeah yeah rod in hand always yeah. you know waiting mm -hmm. and then like trot it down let it hold let a bit more out you know mm. yeah i reckon that could be good and we could do that on light gear as well and i think that would be fun we could take a law rod couldn't we take a like two to 15 gram rod Oh yeah, and hold on top. Yeah, I know you love it. You <laughs> do. Yeah. Sean's gone on a new craze now, where he likes to catch fish on the the lightest <laughs> rod possible. He's like, oh, did you see the bend in it? And I'm like, yeah, it's a two pounder, mate. <laughs> on his zero point three to zero point nine casting weight rod. What? Oh, it's a monster. It's only a little. It's a monster. Another season without me catching a big pike. Come on, man. Then. You caught a couple. Yeah, not monsters. Nah. You caught a 14 and a half. Yeah, which was my PB, which kind of saved the whole season, mate. And did you catch a 12 as well, did you? I think so. From the Avon? Yeah, about a 12. Peg, yeah, yeah, yeah. 13, 12. So, in that respect, I've not done too bad. If I had to caught them two, I'd be as diet as in, be in the same situation as you. We really fished for them hard this season, but more so on the rivers. We really hit them rivers. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like we didn't even scratch the surface. I, I feel the same. I feel like we could have done so much more, even though, uh, even though we did so much. Yeah. Now, a lot of people at this moment would be thinking, you need to do dead baits, you need to do live baits. But I don't want to. 
I want to catch a 20 on a law. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. So I'm not, oh, it's just not in me to dead bait for pike because for me, that takes all the excitement out of pike fishing. If I want to go sit on a bait rod, I'd do it for barbel or carp or a feeder on a commercial. It's like the expectations are not considered in the same realm with pike for, for bait fishing. I do understand where you're coming from, I really do. There's nothing like a pike taking a law when you've got it in your hand, you know. But people are catching big pike on dead baits. I know, I know, I know. I don't mind doing it so much, I think, as much as you. Yeah. Imagine seeing a 20 smash a law at your feet. Oh. And you, like that, like, it, it, it gets me when it's a three pound fish mm. takes it in front of me. Mm. Like, the adrenaline. Imagine a 20, like the biggest pike you've ever seen take it and then how squeaky bum that fight would be yeah Ooh. it'd be gnarly because we've only, we've never felt higher than 15 16 pound pike yeah <coughs> excuse me yeah we've never felt higher than a 15 or a 16 pound pike that would be epic i feel like we'd know we've caught a lot of yeah. Under we've yeah, caught yeah, a million yeah, jacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. would know. When they when they start going on runs and they're taking It'd be like, yeah, fish on. Yeah, You're yeah, Sean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a sec. Yeah, when when I've caught those double figure pike, you just know straight away. They're just a different set. You know, they've got like yeah. thick mm. backs, muscular you know, that strength on them. Don't get me wrong, they don't fight like barbel or carp. Uh, you know, they continuously fight where a pike will give you 20 seconds of pure carnage. And then give up a bit. Yeah. 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 So, for me, I love canal fishing, but we're going to catch jacks from canals. Yeah, it's going to be a rare occasion when we catch a 15 plus on a canal. If you go onto a canal for a whole season, you might catch a couple of doubles. Yeah. Maybe a couple more. If you go onto a whole season on a river, I think you will catch a lot more doubles. 20 plus. Probably. Because I think on the river, those... All the fish are harder fighting on the river. They're all in better condition. And like a 10 pound fish is kind of standard yeah. on a river. River, It's like, yeah. oh yeah, standard. It's like a, a souped up six pound canal fish, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, pound for pound, it's got more of its... Oh yeah, like yeah, pound yeah. for pound, a five pounder on a river, you'll like, oh, yeah. fight like a 12 mm. wood on a canal. Mm. And then you've got the flow to consider and all that if yeah. you if it takes it out yeah. like in the middle of the river. So so what are we gonna do now then? So the rivers are closed. I've seen people catching trout on laws mm. and they're allowed to do that, but I would just feel a bit weird about doing that. I'd feel a bit like naughty. You chucking your law in for a perch, you can't help it with trout takes it, can you? No, I mean, like, you're not allowed to catch coarse fish. Right. It's closed for coarse fishing, but people are catching trout on laws. But obviously they're going to be catching pike and perch and all that. What What do people do? Do they just keep that quiet? Do they just, like... Maybe. I guess. Because if I, say, if I went onto a river and I was just look, Because all I would do is take the light jig rod and would maybe use some small cranks. It's, like, no different, really. Fish in the river. Yeah, it's no different like jigging it to, to what we do normally. I don't know, a bit of a grey area, I think. If you've got a fly rod and you're right. using flies, for me, that's like completely acceptable. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. there's like I'm a off, proper grey area of people yeah. catching them on laws. Because mm. they're going to be catching perch and pike 100%. and chub. 100%. 
in some spots more than trout, surely. Yeah. That's an interesting one. And I know that some people have went like like jigging on rivers, said they were catching trout and they have had years of abuse online. Oh really? Yeah, of like fishing in the close season. Yeah. I thought the idea was to give the whole ecosystem a rest. Yeah. But then the trout fishing started straight away. Bloody trout fisherman boil. Bit of a loopholes. I think this is the year for some fly fishing. For yeah. Me, yeah. If yeah, we can get it organised. I was thinking about this on the way up. I think we need to buy another licence, don't we? We need to get that trout and non migratory. Or, yeah. Because if we're going to, we're going to go for salmon as well later in the year. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that. Can't wait for. Yeah, we've been uh, fishing and working with a guy called Damon, who's a bit of a fly fishing demo expert, and he's going to take us salmon fishing. I think we're going to do that in Northumberland uh, later in the year, and we want to fish with Andy and IB as well, yeah. and do some yeah. some fly fishing with them. Um, I feel like Damon's the man we know. That is for fly fishing. Andy is the guy to know. <laughs> Andy's yeah. the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Andy. Shout out to Andy. We're going to get him on a podcast. Uh, him and I be going to come and we're going to do a session, do a podcast. That will be that will be fun. Um, so, what now? What are we going to do in this close season, mate? I was about to say fish for carp. <coughs> Um, I don't know, man. Well, yeah, we, we, we had an idea the other day, didn't we, of maybe coming up with a bit of a series of videos yeah. to kind of help people out uh, that are new to lure fishing and stuff. So we, I think we're going to do a few of them. Yeah. And really entry level. Yeah. For people who really don't know what they're doing when they're... Law fishing. So you'll love that content, guys. Yeah. Um, and that that is uh, like that we can kind of film without relying on catching loads of fish, can't we? So you know it. It's always one when when you go and blank on a session video, you haven't got a video, and that happens. You know, three times a month, four times a month. Happens a lot. It's not you know we're not. Gaming YouTubers where... You can just make content. You can sit down for three hours, film a video. Fishing content is so niche, man. You go out, you don't catch... Is it a video? You know, we put one or two blank videos out where we've blanked. And I know, I know you guys don't mind it too much because it's just the nature of fishing and we're all anglers and we all know what the crack is. But it just don't sit right with us. Well, if we're releasing content with no fish in it, and we're a fishing channel, what what are we? What is it? <laughs> the, having said that, right, I would like to get people's opinions on c continuing fishing videos, right? But like touches of other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like I had an idea we could go and film a fishing video, and then have a game of football. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or go go karting. Go go karting. Or bowling. Film it. Yeah. Arcade. Whatever. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. adding a bit of other things in. I think when like you know around Christmas time, now that we are like full time at it and and we're doing it, you're creating weekly content. And it's hard. Like, I, to be honest, I was getting a bit bored of what we were doing around Christmas. I was just like, we're just making fishing videos. Like, we've made this video ten times already. It feels that way sometimes, yeah. And, and I think, you know, we need to keep it fresh for us. Yeah. And I think, yeah. you know, those people that watch the content for the last years, I, I would hope that you've seen us grow. Like I went back and watched the Xander fishing video that was like our third video. And it was like, we were completely different people. Yeah. It's like, 
Mm. As the more time has gone on, like the more of like this, I'm a fishing YouTuber mask has come off, and yeah. we we've just like become ourselves yeah. more. Like back in the day, we were like, oh no, we can't put that in. That's mm. You know what? You know it's not serious, or like I, I didn't know what it was. There's a lot of serious fishing content and a lot of pros out there that never want to look silly or never. They always want to be the expert, you know. And so I'd like to think in got this new camera and we've been working and like getting our gear up and working on shots. Production and, value has yeah. quadrupled, in my opinion. Yeah, it has. So, I, I would like to do some more varied stuff that's based around fishing, yeah. but different stuff. So, I suppose you'll be seeing a lot of that. And, you know, going on for what you said about carp, I, I what the rivers have done for me is they've really affirmed, if that's the right word, that commercials are not the place for me. Yeah. I can't think of anything worse than going to a famous car plague. Okay, yeah. With alarms going off. My God. There's alarms going off. <laughs> there's rakes going out. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's people behind you swim. Waiting for your swim. My man has thrown in about three <laughs> tons of bait on a spod rod. Twenty-eight day dry age. <laughs> when are you finishing that swim, mate? Uh, in two days. All right, son. I'll just wait. Yeah. There. I went to Linear, right? And there was people camping behind me, waiting for me to leave. Do you know how uncomfortable that is? Not the vibe. That that whole vibe is just man. Yeah. And the people, like man, we're from the ends. We're from ends. We've been there, in the trap houses, <laughs> right? For real. <laughs> but these carp commercials <laughs> are like trap lakes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like a moth to flame, but they're like. They're just not the place for me. And then when we went, we went on the river, and we did a night on the river, and it's, it's wild. There's no one around. There's no bailiff coming. There's no geezer coming and gnawing your head off about you seen any carp jumping, mate? Nah. Yeah, yeah. I'm fishing for your wraps, mate. No. Yeah, I'm using a krill boily banoffee cheesecake. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, I've got me lonsdales. I'm sure on. I've heard of that exact, what you've just said, many a time. Yeah, we had a guy telling us the other day, what you want to be using is the multi-shot for that, cause that'll help you out, that will. <laughs> As a multi-shot, oh yeah, if you've got multi-shot on that, yeah, yeah, use that one, it will uh, help you out. The geese with a can of Kestrel on the canal. Alright mate, just saying. <coughs> just got off work early, I have. Have you? Yeah, just finished your digital marketing job, have you? Oh. Um, so, I think a canal carp... Oh, uh, canal carp? I think if we could find a canal that, like, we weren't on the towpath, we were, like, on the other yeah, side... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...and we could night fish it... I think... Yeah. Hold... I'd, I'd need just a slither of evidence that there's carp in there. Yeah. For some hope. Yeah. Have sat on a canal a couple of times and threw a, a rig in and seen if carp and bait and whatever, but I I haven't given it enough time. No. And that was a big old stretch. They're there. I think the best carp that are coming out, look-wise, are canal carp. They look amazing. They're like warriors, aren't they? They look so good. I think we should do it. I think... You know, as we said, we should work on this series of videos and then in the background for this whole close season. Chip away a bit of a chip away. Canal carp campaign. Baiting. Continuously baiting some spots. Raking spots. Know that the carp are there. Mm. And start doing nights. Like me going down on my own with a bucket and just Yeah, or rake. 
start doing some nights on them. Okay. That excites me because it's not commercial fishing. Yeah, you will get bothered by a few people, but if we find the right spot, you know, in the sticks somewhere, it, it won't be that bad. Yeah. I think we should do it. Uh, that that it excites me in the sense of you could sit there for 72 hours and then one could rip off. Yeah. Left rod could be bent. Yeah. Melt right off. I, I think it's a bit of a... We'd do well to catch one each. We'd do well to catch one? Yeah, oh, yeah, we would. It's going to be... It's going to school us. Yeah. You know, because I've seen um, videos of when people have went canal carp fishing before and they're, they're using... they You put your rig out... So if you were fishing the far margin of the bank, then you'd have to clip another lead on yeah. and put the lead on the bottom yeah. so yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can still have your rod in when boats are coming yeah. through and yeah. stuff like that. You know, it's it's really challenging fishing, I think. Maybe one of the most challenging fishing. I can already see us going, should we just go home? This is mm. crap. This is no good. Yeah. This is, you know. But I think it would be a real achievement for us. And just the, like, seeing a, you know, imagine if we caught, like, a 20-pound carp from a canal. That'd be epic. Yeah. I think any carp coming out of the canal is epic. Everybody that is out there fishing for them and catching them, I take my glasses and my hat off to you. Yeah. And the, it, it is a real, like, that super niche you know, super. They're the people that have got sick of commercials, that hate it, and they just want yeah. to be left alone. Carp fishing. I feel like they want a better challenge. Yeah, yeah. Than go in and commercial with a thousand carping. You know, uh, I do like commercials. I like carp fishing commercials. I do. I don't. But they've got to be decent venues. You know. I don't like the whole culture around it. I don't like the owners yeah. of them. I don't like the people that fish them. <laughs> Maybe a syndicate. This is what I was aiming yeah. towards. There is a definite market out there for a little nice syndicate that you can pay £400 a year for, whatever it is. Yeah. Turn up when you want. Fish it all the time. I am in the market for a syndicate, 100%. And because we film... It puts a lot out. That eliminates loads of syndicates because people are like, "This don't is." Don't come and film it. Yeah, yeah. Don't film here. Yeah. So we need someone that like likes the channel, likes the content, and wants to. It's really up for us yeah. going and filming and yeah. showing off the place. So if you're that person, <laughs> drop in. Yeah. Canal carp. On another note, I'm super stoked. This winter, we've been working really hard on the store, getting more products in. Like they're not, they're not there yet, but they're on the way. Literally, they're getting rowed over from China. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some laws that are on is on the snow piercer at the moment in Africa somewhere. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, stop! It's, it's stopped. Yeah, it's... stop. No, uh, we've got so we've got glasses. They're going to come and drop very soon, these aren't are, they? These will be the first things in the store. Sure. Yeah. Sure. We've got some new hats. Two different styles. Um, we've had to order some new hook holders as well. We've got a uh, re-drop re of them. Mm -hmm. And then we've got laws. Yeah, I'm really so excited for the laws. Yeah. Um, we planned it in mind for to kind of get them for the winter. For Christmas. Ish. That's when we planned it. And w I think the way it's going, we'll be lucky to see them for the October. <sighs> they grow in a beard, but they'll be here. And when they come, yeah. it's going to be epic, man. Yeah. We're really excited. And we're sorting out some rigging options. Yeah, so we've got well. some, some screwing jig head rigging options with, that we're going to sell alongside so that you'll be able to just buy the laws, buy the rigging option, boom, go catch a pipe. Yeah, and they're legit laws as well. Yeah. Legit packaging. Like, we've worked hard, Sean's been working really hard on sorting it all out, so... It's been good. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be really decent. 
think they're all uh, 17 centimetres. <laughs> so, Canal Carp. I like the sound. I like the... <laughs> I like I, the sound of it now. I like the idea of having one on. Yeah. I don't like the idea... Of waiting 72 hours for it or longer. But I... I feel if we can get a canal carp badge mm. on our angling careers, yeah, yeah, we should, we shouldn't should. we? We should have like the different species. Law court canal pike. Yeah, yeah, river, river pike. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got zero perch badges. I have. Yeah. Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? We could create like a sticker yeah. book. Nah, like badges, like for at, like like Ash Ketchum. Yeah. I want badges, bro. <laughs> you got your perch badges. No, but what I'm saying is we could create like a challenge with all the species on and yeah. all the different ways and people could go and do them. I, th I feel like you couldn't just buy one. You, we need, if you're going yeah, yeah, you to, to show us the proof of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, what, you want your pipe yeah. badge? Let's have a look. So it'd almost be like a, uh, you know, remember the football sticker yeah. magazines? <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that, wouldn't it? You get cheaters swapping the stickers. Oh, I've got another canal swaps. pike. Yeah, and then the person who gets it all gets the sh <laughs> gets to come <laughs> and fish with us. Yeah, we're thinking about a Patreon as well, but that's in early mind development. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just to be clear, when we talk about Patreon, that won't affect. Our weekly content that will do nothing for that. If you're a Patreon, you'll get a pat on the back from us, or a personalised maybe a little video, reach around, oh, a, some stickers. Yeah. Like we were saying that maybe we could, you could enter a raffle and we could do a session like every few months with with someone, go and film it. Um, merch, hats, glasses, blah, blah, blah. They get something different. Like, a little bit um, of exclusive content. Yeah, yeah, a little behind video, the scenes. Yeah, yeah, behind the scenes and a couple of other things. I don't know, what what would if you're paying for a Patreon, what would you guys want from it? Yeah, and how much, you know. I don't pay for a Patreon for anyone. I don't either. I pay like six quid about 12 times for all different streaming services though yeah <laughs> i'm gonna sign up to fish with carl's patron oh yeah yeah why <laughs> just to <laughs> see, see what i get oh right to copy that yeah yeah copy like, what he's doing yeah 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 shout out to fish with carl carl and alex are no more no they're not strange that is they've always always been around yeah they've been like the uh yeah. like the top Top guys, haven't they? Yeah. The uh, the leaders. It's they awesome. still are though. Because but... they they've constantly raised the, the bar with filming, with footage, with all of the above, with fishing, and I think yeah, it's awesome. Fair play to them. Wish them every success mm -hmm. going forward. And Alex with his uh, new venture yeah. of stuff. Yeah. 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 Right then, so. I think that concludes. New products are coming. Little video series on the channel. Sounds like we're fishing the canals for carp. Canal carp. Oh, he's excited for a canal carp. I am. We'll go. You, us, we'll go, and he'll catch one on the first go, and then it will be me waiting for about three weeks, and you're like, and then you'll be like, oh, I'm just gonna go and light jig over here, mate. <laughs> Won't you? Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm gonna bring my bivy, I'll go home. <laughs> You're done. Right. Thanks for watching guys. Your breath stinks. See go you check soon. out snagbro.com. Snagbro.com. <laughs>